All right, guys. Uh, today I'm gonna show you a repair that I did for an LED aquarium light. It was pretty tough. I have to admit that I hadn't used uh, done any electronics for quite a bit, but um, I decided that I'd try, try to fix it before I rush and spend another, you know, ninety-five dollars for this and buy a new one. So I had to brush up a bit my electronics, but I remembered most of it. I finally fixed it. It took me, I think, about 30 minutes to find that issue and fix it, but now it's good. It all works. Let me go over what I tried to do. The first thing you need to do is, like, obviously open up the LED. There were a bunch of screws here. They're all over the place now. Anyway, there were a few screws here. You see them here across the line. Then there were a few screws at the edge of the plastics. The air edge is a... Uh, Somewhere around there. The reason, uh, so I opened up that and I managed to get that main panel out. So the reason this happened is that while I was doing a water change, water ended up going in. And all of a sudden I tried to plug it back in and nothing happened. It wouldn't turn on. So anyway, I started taking it apart, you know, and using my multimeter here to try and find the issues. We're going to be referencing this a lot actually now on this video. So uh, let me tell you how I started with this. So the first thing that I started doing is trying to diagnose a connection. So the connection came in through this piece here from the wall, which is fully, very eroded. As you can see, it's full of salt. Uh, and then it ended up going into this switch in there. It's a three-way switch because this uh, board has uh, two modes. One of them is a uh, blue lights only. The other one is blue and white. So it came through there into the board, into these three parts here, A, B, C, as you can see. A was ground. I found that quickly. B and C were the two modes. Um, you can see them back here. So B was for the small, the small lights, the blue ones. C was for both. It triggered both. If you can see the board here, the circuit board, the wiring goes through in both of them, if you go and see. So anyway, the first thing I started doing is I, I measured the poles here. Electricity came in, but I'll get back to it. So I was getting a reading here with my multimeter. When I set it into the voltage, I was getting a proper reading. But I'll, again, I'll come back to this. Uh, so that didn't seem to be the first issue. I, I, di I didn't think that would be an issue or anything. Then I started inve investigating the actual board. The first thing that you see in here is two diodes. I don't know if you can see. So I started measuring those diodes with my multimeter. You can see the cathode is uh, where that black line is in the diode. And uh, that basically is the negative part or you connect the ground part there when you use your multimeter. You need to use this setting here in your multimeter. It's basically like an arrow on a line. And usually diodes measure between 500 and 900. Now it really depends on your diode. So I measured those diodes, they were good to go. And then I found out that there's a bunch of resistances all over the board. Let me try to zoom in, here's one of them. If you see with small letters, they say 1500. What that means is that they are 1500 ohms, uh, which is 1.5 kilo ohms. And then there's one down here that's, it doesn't really show, my phone doesn't zoom in very well, but it's 1000. Oh, there we go. So this one was 1000. I measured all of those with this setting here. If you set it into the ohm, you get a, you get a proper reading. I was getting a proper reading. Basically what this does is sends a current between the two and it measures the the resistance and if it clears it's good so anyway i measured that all of them there were quite a few actually across the board close to every led almost there is one they all checked out good so i started wondering what was happening you know so i started doing more investigation what i did is i plugged in this uh this adapter into the wall and i hooked up my voltometer because this is dc of course into this setting into the poles down here and at the beginning, I was noticing that the electricity was fine. Like I did the measurement at the beginning, like at the very start, and everything was fine. But I kept it there, 
and I saw that the reading kept messing around, it kept jumping around, which tells me there was some something flimsy in the connections. So either this thing was broken, which can basically this is an analog to digital converter, or this thing here wasn't good. Basically, the connection between this and the switch as well. So I quickly realized, let me do an experiment. So what I did is I hooked, I cut up all the cables. So this thing directly, directly connects. I just experimented with the ground basically and the number C, which is both. So I put the, I found which one was the positive and which one was the negative of these two because th these are two parts. You can see the cable here, one, two. So I found the positive and the negative using my voltometer. If you have them the other way around, it's it's going to show a minus in your reading, so you know how to swap them. So anyway, I found all the positives and I hooked them up directly to the board to, to bypass this whole mechanism of the switch and this little piece which was flimsy. Just, just to make sure to rule out the possibility that this was not broken. So I plugged it in and let's see what happens. It started working. As you can see, you can you can see it working right now. Right now it's hard coded, it's like hardwired, but the, the issue was basically this thing here. It's I mean, if you don't know electronics, you can see that it's full of salt in here and it's eroded. And that's what was causing the issue. So right now I'm just gonna get a new switch, plug it back in, and replace this part here. Basically. And I'll be all said and done. Well, that was it. I hope you learned something today. And if you like my channel, make sure to sign up. Thanks for watching.